We're going to make everybody drink six weight plays. Playing Pathfinder Kingmaker. Um, I think I'm going to be doing level ups here. So if you're not interested in watching me level people up, um, you can just sort of skip through this and, uh, you know, get on to the next one where we'll actually go out and adventure around. I do have to rest one night, which means we might have some kingdom things I have to do before I can leave. But we have to go to Mordecai's tomb. Uh, I think I'm going to, since we're talking about going inside, I think I'm going to um, leave Kundeo. I think I'm going to leave him behind. And I'm going to uh, take the Tiefling twins instead. Uh, it depends on how the level ups go here. So, anyway, <clears throat> let's get to leveling up. Uh, I don't know what happens with me. If I level up as 12th level, I don't get anything, really. I can, use, I can spell skill to hide in any of my favorite terrains, even in combat. Okay. So basically, I'm just going to get hit points and other points. So I get a point here. The only thing I have that's odd right now, I'm going to get another one at 16 and another one at 20. So at this point, I don't see me getting any farther. I mean, I could start working on strength. But I thought this just ups my will. So that seems to be the thing to do. Um, so I've been doing persuasion because I'm the king. And nature because I'm a ranger. Um, I think I'm going to give up on the whole trickery thing. If I have to do trickery on my own, I'm just screwed. Um, <clears throat> some of these other things have not been going well, so I thought I would have to up my perception uh, just because. I need to get it up there. Gives me a plus 18. Well, what are these things you should tell me? Who had the best? Oh, do I want to go up to a 19? I'm really depending on everybody else to do all these things for me. So I think we're just going to go up on the perception and try and concentrate on perception and persuasion. Uh, I might put some points next time. None of these things are really going to help me that much. Stealth might help. We'll see. I think that's all I'm going to do there. I get camouflage and that's it. So... And I'm a 15 fortitude, 16 reflex, and a 12 will, so that's pretty good on safety throw. My persuasion is out the roof. If I put on that robe, I'll be plus 39. So I think that helps a lot. The fact that I have the charisma headband on now helps a lot there, too. Okay. And I have 3, 3, 2. For my spells. We'll do spell books later. Lindsay, uh, we know what you're going to do. You're just going to go up as Bard. Uh, what happens here? What does she get? Uses forest great effect to a mass cure serious wounds. Removes the fatigue, sickened, and shaking condition while also affected. Using this ability requires four rounds of continuous performance. Oh, that's nice. So we've got a really nice cure spell if we need it. It takes four rounds to effect it, but it might be worth it. Especially like between battles or something. 
Uh, 13th level is going to be great because she can sing as a swift action, then move or take a full round action. That'll be nice. Like summon something. But that won't happen for a long time. Um, she gets one point. So I've got three total points coming. And her spells and everything depend on her charisma. So I figure for the next two points, I'm just going to do her charisma. And her will save is going to have to be based on other bonuses. So yeah, I think I'm just going to work on her charisma. Because that's what her spell stuff depends on. So her perception, so five points has been perception, trickery. these two, because she's with us all the time, so try and get her the best shot she can. I could pop up another one in here. I've given up on her doing these. But she's been doing a lot of wands and scrolls and things, so I'm going to try and make her even better there. She's kind of like my utility spellcaster. And she gets fourth level spells. I wish they'd let me, you know, pick other spells. That's nice, but I don't think I need that. That's a single person. That's on self. That's one person. I can do freedom of movements. Rainbow pattern is cute, but it's a will save. That's personal. Summoning monsters is always fun, but... She already has break enchantments, the invisibility and dimension door. So, do I want to summon more monsters? Take hold monster. Greater invisibility. That's the one that. Uh, doesn't end if they attack. So, I could throw that on even myself. Make it harder for people to hit me. Right? Free movement is just one creature. It's invisibility communal. Break enchantment is all allies within 30 feet. So that's a group. This is a, these are three groups. I don't think they have any more groups up here. Right? I don't have any more groups. Toss up between hold monster, which is every round, up to 24 hit die creatures. Or I could take this and be safer. Mm. I think we're going to go with greater invisibility. For her own safety, because it lasts one round. Oh, it lasts one round per level. Ick. Uh, shout. It's a cone again. Uh, maybe I should just take a cure critical. In case my clerics need to be healed. Maybe I'll take, change that to cure critical. She's really a support person. And now she's a 20 and a 20, a 10 and a 10, and 8. 11 on her persuasion, 22 on her perception, 13 on her stealth, 38 on her trickery, and 23 on use magic device. So hopefully that will be enough. All right. Tristan, uh, you're pretty much straightforward too. Uh, he's not going to get anything except points. Uh, where am I supposed to work on him? 
Um, it's going to be a long time before he gets any farther. His hit points suck, but so does his strength. I'm thinking I need to up his strength over time. Or I could just keep working on his wisdom. Try and get him up to being a... <sighs> don't know, don't know, don't know. He's never going to be strong. Work on his constitution to try and give him more hit points. So I mean, it's going to be four levels before he gets realizes it, but then he'll be like 16th and he'll pick up 16 hit points. This is done with a belt. So he normally has a 12 dex and a 12 con. If I can find another one of those plus 4 con dexes, like Ukandayo and I wear, those would be, that would be perfect. Because then he would get plus 4 on each of those. So with that in mind, do we want to work on his intelligence to raise up his arcania and knowledge? Or just keep working on his wisdom? Wisdom grants you more spells, right? do that. Four skill points. Um, well, obviously these two. And in the last two... I really don't know what to do. It doesn't sneak. Oh, don't know. Don't know, Tristan. Don't know where to go with you. Pick up his Arcania and World. What do you think, guys? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go Arcania and World. Just just start working on getting those up some. And then that's it. And he's got four six-level spells, so he didn't get any new spells. Dang it. Okay, on to the next one. Oh, he's easy. He's a ranger. He's going to be just like I was. He gets this, which is camouflage. I think that's all he gets. It's points. Uh, none of my points are worth a dually squad. <laughs> I'm not even trying to really use, use magic device. Perception's definitely going to go up. Lord of Nature is going to go up. Uh, I've been going down the stealth mobility. I put another one in athletics. Hmm. Do I make his athletics and mobility each 16 going forward? Yeah, let's just do that. Well, I better make. Yeah. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay. And then over here, I got to try and figure out what I want to do. This is being enhanced by all sorts of stuff. 
How is this? Um, again, it's going to be four more levels before I make any of these to actually change because it's all on even numbers. Uh, intelligence doesn't have very much in that anyway. I could raise up his wisdom. Start working on his wisdom because you get more spells with higher wisdom. When he comes to a higher level, he'll be able to get more spells. So that's where we go. He gets camouflage. He gets a bunch of hit points. 136. Okay. Okay. 136. Miri. Going up as a barbarian. Oh, she's going to get stuff. She's going to get a rage power. And her danger says is... What is this? Ah, oh, come on. Plus one dodge bonus against traps. So she should be like plus four against traps. And plus four in a reflex save versus traps. So that's good. Help her dodge out of traps. She gets a new rage. Hmm. A new rage power. She's got the same problem here. Um, it's no good place to put an odd point, so I'm just going to round off her decks, and then I'll pick a stat that I want to take up two points in the future. Probably be her strength. And four points here, and we've been going persuasion, perception. She does the same thing as I've been doing with my dial. I've been raising up perception, persuasion because at 13th level I'm thinking of taking the is it dazzling display or something like that that says you add your strength to your uh, persuasion skill to demoralize the enemy or something like that. I don't know, probably a bad idea with her anyway, but what the heck. Let's try it. Still have one point left. Raise up her perception. Take up her perception at a little point. Okay. Rage powers. Okay. So, internal fortitude... Immune to sickened and nauseated, must be 8th level. Increased damage reduction, which is a sex ratio to 3 times spec stack. Do I have damage reduction? So I have damage reduction and damage reduction. One swift foot, heal myself, and lethal stance. Hmm, I could be fearless. I rage up and you can't fear me. Can't shake me. I don't think I want new stances. So it's either do I want to move even faster? Because right now when I rage up, I can move at 40. I could move at 50 then if I'm raged up. Which might let me get to the back line. Some of these things that have spellcasters. So I can be in their face. But I really like this too because it means she just lasts that much longer. I'm going to take this. The next two are going to be swift foot. And then when I get up to like 18th level I'm going to run out of things. <laughs> Of course, that's really nice. Can't scare her. Instead of just pluses to her saving throw, she's just flat out immune to fear. going to be a long time before we get another level, right? So, yeah, let's go Fearless Rage. Let's 
She's got on that armor breastplate. I need to find a way to get her up to that armor class without having to wear the breastplate. All right. Um, so now we got to move on down here. Val should be straightforward. She is going to get a fighter feat. Okay. She doesn't get very many points. She gets one point here. The only thing that's at odd, I could take her intelligence up so it wouldn't be a minus one. But somehow it doesn't seem like it matters. And Khan would just give her more hit points. She's up to 172 hit points. I mean, that just seems like the thing to do with her. Because uh, she's getting beat on a lot by monsters. Uh, I've been taking up her perception. Not a lot I can really do with her here. Your perception is obvious. I could splash these points. And these two things, the things that she knows, could give her a stealth. Oh, that would make her a plus four in style, but I don't see her doing stealthy things. I mean, this was splashed there just so she has the outside chance of using, like, a scroll or something in dire emergencies. I can't remember why I gave her persuasion. Should have stopped at just one point there. Uh, let's splash them in here so they're both at plus six. Okay, now she gets a bonus combat feat. Greater shield focus. What does that do? So that's an extra plus one. She could do an extra two damage. <sighs> she could do an extra two damage. She's right with your sail. That would help. But she can't be flanked now, can she? Against touch attacks. Where's the... Is that the next level? So the next level, she can't be flanked, so I'm not worried about that. Um, combat reflexes. Go to her dexterity bonus. What's her dexterity bonus? Three. So she could get lots of extra attacks here. What else has she got? Dazzling display is what I'm going to get for... Amiri, because she'll have, um, that's why I have her persuasion up so high. She makes an intimidation check. Well, actually, I was going to have her take a new combat. Strike. Oh, your attacks made with weapons selected with weapon focus. Ignore up to five points of damage reduction. So her bastard sword would be, they have like damage reduction 10, it'd only be damage reduction 5. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That might be better than just the extra damage, because that's five damage that they can't deflect. Yeah, I think we're going to go Penetrating Strike. That sounds like a better thing for her to grab. Right? Yeah. 
Let's not worry about damage reduction. These bigger monsters are like those uh, sisters or whatever had lots of damage reduction. That will help. Uh, so now her flaming bastard sword will get through some of that damage reduction. All right, and that's it. She's got 172 hit points. How many hit points did Mary have? 172 and 173, so yeah, these guys are neck and neck on their hit points. Uh, I don't know what to do with Knock Knock. I've just kind of like been going up and just... So, uh, what's this? Gets extra damage, what's this? Gets a rogue talent. Gets a point. Let's take his will save up to it. <laughs> I don't know what to do with Knock Knock. Five points. I've been doing this. One, two, three, four. And then just kind of splashing around elsewhere. Uh, I've kind of been semi-focusing on nature so we can identify enemies, but maybe we'll this time. Okay. I don't take Knock Knock very often on any adventures. Rogue Talent. What has he got up here? Combat Reflexes. Proof to Weapon Fighting. Double Slide. Toughness. Two Weapon Fighting. Martial Weapons Proficiency. And then Focus on Kukuri. Dodge. Damage right here. Sneak attack. Can't make attacks of opportunity. Like proved evasion. Opportunist. Spelling attack. Opponents don't sneak attack damage to the character with the ability effect. It's affected by a targeted dispel magic affecting one of the spell effects arrive active on the target. Oh, that's interesting. Let's just do How about trick? Canny observer. Ah. Uh. I think I kind of like Dispelling Attack. Okay. You're done, Knock Knock. 99 hit points. Alright, Knock Knock's done. On to Aram. Aram is straightforward. Up the Cleric. Alright. Uh, he doesn't get anything here. I think he just gets a point. And everything's at even numbers now. So... Guess we just keep working on his wisdom. He only gets two points over here. I've just been going religion and perception. That's, that's his job. The rest of it doesn't matter to him. Uh, da, 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 da. Jubilest. Oh, he got a discovery. That's important because I need to take infusion because I never took infusion so his spells can actually affect other people. Choose a discovery. Uh, infusion. As much as I'd like to take a bunch of this other stuff, I really need to take infusion. I've got four others I'm going to get. So the next one's probably going to be force bombs because there doesn't seem to be anything that's like Protection against force. <laughs> oh, extend potion. So there's some good things to take, like fast bombs. I guess to throw. If 
it gets additional attacks, he can do that. But you really need to have infusion because a lot of the potion stuff that he does, the spells, quote unquote, are actually potions. Without infusion, he can't cast them like stone skin. He can't cast them on other people. Now he can. Gets one point here. He's never going to be strong. Giving him the belt of incredible dexterity to up his dexterity. I think I'm going to start putting, maybe put a strength belt on him so he can carry stuff around. <laughs> Uh, and his thing is intelligence, so I think we're just going to keep working on his intelligence. It's a bunch of stuff over here. I've been having him be sort of my lore master, perception, and at least these things, knowledge, arcania, and world. I think I'm going to take that up another point, too. And then he's my backup thief. My backup rogue. Actually, you know, if I'm going to change his... Ah, I wonder if the spy master needs to have stealth. going to be stealth or is it going to be something else? It has to be stealth, right? Should I up his stealth? Or do I wait? Maybe I just wait. And then next time when I get five, I can like put all five in stealth and make him ridiculously good. Okay. All right, and he gets spells. I guess he only gets fourth level spells. Death Ward? Well, now if he takes a cure, he can actually cure people. So, he's going to be, if he's in the party, he's like sort of the second cleric. Um, this is great because it can make him invisible, and then he can throw his bombs and not be seen. So, we're going to take greater invisibility. Because I think I have a, I think I can copy this into my book because we have a scroll of that. Or I can buy a scroll of that. Not sure if I can do it with the pure critical wounds, but we'll check and see. Because some of these I know I can actually copy into my book, and then I'll have more spells. Same thing over here. It doesn't tell me what third level spell list is, which bothers me. Because I'd really like to know what spells he's allowed to take. So he's got regular invisibility. Hmm, he has regular invisibility. Greater invisibility is nice. Uh, maybe I should take something else. Only a living creature, so that can help me against the undead. What's this do? This would turn him into a le into a leopard. Hmm. I don't know. This just sounds so good, but he you know, at fourth level he's probably gonna be throwing stone skins around more than greater invisibility. That we can buy scrolls for. This makes him into a medium leopard. Dr. 
Jekyll and Mr. Hyde turns himself into a leopard from time to time. Uh... Mm. I think I have a. I think I can buy a scroll of this. This is something I can't buy a scroll of, so I'm going to do that. Jubilus turned himself into a leopard. It's got seven, seven, six, and four. Uh, let's do to Theo. She's going to get a point. I have no idea what to do with it. At 12th level, she gets... Bane ability, the amount uh, amount of bonus damage dealt by the weapon against creatures of a selected type increases to 4d6. Ooh. And then a teamwork feat, which I don't need. I don't know what to take. So there's one point here. I have no idea. But I guess more spells for her? Right? As she's going, more spells work better for her. Um, five points over here. Definitely on her perception. And I think I'm just going to take up her... She's 10 plus on everything. Make these all 12s. Last point. Is it for athletics equal to mobility or take a point and stop? <sighs> Stealth helps in camping. Okay. Uh, make an attack of opportunity. Hit. An ally who also has this feat confirms a critical hit against an opponent that you also threaten. You can make an attack of opportunity. Now, anybody else that I'm fighting with is considered to have this feat for me. They don't have it. But say Amiri is adjacent to me and hits somebody and crits them, then I get an attack of opportunity. I think we're going to go with Seize the Moment. And I get to pick up a fourth level spell. I have Stone Skid, Inflict, and Hold Monster. What does this do? Uh, stop that. So, Will, you're forcing me to design the evil subtype. I'm going to be fighting things that have the evil subtype, so that's not going to help. <laughs> uh... In your primary hand, you imbue it with power of holy energy, granting your primary weapon the Bane Weapon Covenant against evil outsiders. Whenever you score a successful critical hit against an outsider with evil subtype, you know, you deal normal critical damage with the weapon, which also nauseate them for outsider can do something for one round. Successful fort save. So the fort save will change their nauseated to sicken. <laughs> things to think about. She is kind of a crusader. That helps everybody. That would help everybody.
I have diamond dust to do these. But I've been buying scrolls to do this because I have enough money. Take Crusader's Edge. Because it's one friendly creature within touch range, it means I could Crusader Edge like Amiri's sword. And then she would have all these benefits. Right? So we're fighting evil things. Bane against evil outsiders. Outsider with evil subtype. So outsiders that are evil, we will beat the living crap out of. What the heck? Let's put in a Crusader's Edge. Something new. And I can cast it on other people's weapons, so that's worthwhile. And I get four of those fourth level spells, so that sounds like a good idea. Okay. And we're done. And, oops, not that. I need characters. Reggie, you get to go up as a... You go up as a dragon disciple. Stuff happens for you. What happens here? You get... You get five against electricity and plus one natural armor bonus. At ninth level, okay. Additional spell drivers. Budline, you got mage armor, but you already have mage armor. Breath weapon. Ah, he can now do a bread weapon. So he's got a breath weapon. Cool. And I think he gets... I'm not sure if he gets a feat here. Gets points. I think I can think of is to work on his will. Intelligence is here. I don't remember what his... This thing is based on charisma, right? Yeah, it's based on charisma. So we're going to work up his charisma. He's got three points. I want to take his perception up. If I pop these in here, they become plus threes. So let's just splash these, and then we'll start working on his perception from here on out. Okay. He gets a first level spell. That sounds like Reggie. A ray of enfeeblement. To make them weaker. Decent ones here. Grease is always fun, but I've got Lindsay for Grease. She'll always be with me. I think I'm going to go with Brave and Feeble in it. Just seems like the thing to do. Lower somebody's strength. I mean, this is nice, but it's a single enemy. Same thing with this. And these are all touch attacks anyway, so why not go with Brave and Feeble in it? 
And then in fourth level, she's got fear, greater invisibility, and stone. She could take dragon's breath. I oh dare she could take dragon's breath. She could take dragon's breath. Phantasmal killer is cute. They face their will. Uh, but she could do a dragon's breath. Oh, she's taking dragon's breath. It'll make a very formidable fighter. Can breathe and then follow it up by charging you and beating you to death. Oh no, it's, this is Reggie. Back. This is Reggie. We already have Dragon's Breath. We don't want to take that. Let's take something else. Um, Ice Storm. Some damage. I've got... This is Protect Me, Protect Me, Fear of People. Dragon's Breath is not a point to take because I already have Dragon's Breath. This lets you pick any kind of Dragon's Breath, though. Or does it have to it'd probably stick to his Dragon type? So, Octavia has Dragon's Breath. So no reason for him to take it. Hmm. Dimension door, like Lindsay, bounce us around the map. Or you can throw a fireball. See, he's a blue dragon, so he's going to like breathe lightning. This would give him fire. Nah, I think we'll take Fireball instead. Okay. Oh, we gotta go to Octavia. Octavia. God, what do I give her? What do I work on? It's going up as an arcane trickster. to work on here. She has so few hit points. Maybe work on her constitution? But her wisdom would be her will saves. Ah. And her intelligence is her primary. They can't win here. Intelligence and dex are two primary things. She has a permit dex thingy that she can cast that takes her dexterity. <sighs> Will save is terrible, but con gives her hit points. It's going to be two, two levels before I can get anything, and then I'm going to have an odd point that's not going to matter. So, an odd point that's not going to matter. Should I go up her intelligence? It'll give her more spells. Yeah, I guess I'll stick there. Five points. Definitely perception. Been going knowledge, Arcania. She's been kind of my backup person, too, for thieving. I think we're going to go here, and we're going to up her stealth, too, because she's going to probably start sneaking soon. Does she need it? Spell specialization. Do 
keep the same one. What's this? Oh, no, we're down here. Wizard, rogue, arcane trickster. So she's going to get... From two sneak attack. It provides a way to sneak attack targets regardless of their awareness. Oh, that's cool. So she can sneak attack no matter what. She gets some spells she can pick. Well, I'm going to have her take Stinking Cloud because, hey, she can take fifth level spells. Oh, God. No, she's not going to take Stinking Cloud. She can take fifth level spells. Uh, uh, she's going to take Cloud Kill instead. Cloud Kill and through their will, you knock them down completely. <sighs> Transmutation is what she's good at. This is what she's going to get as a freebie. She can turn herself into a large bear. Because <laughs> ah, it would be so hilarious. She just turns herself into a bear and starts beating on things. <laughs> what does Polymorph do? You can turn somebody else into a leopard. I just almost want to take this just so she can become a bear. And I don't see anything else. Cloud kill. All these are like cones. Or lines. She has dragon's breath already. This is kind of nice. Gets through the will. She can knock them down, but the problem is, is usually people who are casting spells have decent will saves. Oh, feeble mind or a bear. Feeble mind or a bear. I wonder if there's, I bet you I can find a scroll of feeble mind, but I don't think there's things that are, have beast shapes. I want her to become a bear so bad. <laughs> I just think it's hilarious. She can turn herself into a bear. She's got three fifth level spells she can cast too. Okay. She's done. Now I gotta do the girls. Gotta do my teeth and girls. Okay. She's gonna go up here. Twelfth level. She's going to get a wild talent. Okay. Where's the kinesis? So she gets a wild talent. She gets a point. She has eight points here. So, uh, reception. One, two. That's 
Enter Wisdom. Three, four. This helps in camping. She should be able to use devices better. And I really want her to be able to see things well. She is not my backup. And a wild talent. Um, kinetic restoration. Kinetic revivification. Back from the dead. Uh, bonus feet air. What are these involved? Lightning reflexes. Dodge and deflect arrows. The water ones is improved blind fight and bull rush. What does this do? Gain a bonus equal to one half your contest level on skill checks with your skills. Your primary element added to your class list. Ooh, ooh. That would make her stuff. If I took this one. So everything's got a check mark. I would have half her level, an extra six on it. Ooh, ooh. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. Taking skilled kineticist. Um, aerial adaptation, resistance. She could become a haster by taking burn. Ah. Oh. Oh. There's so many good things I want to try and do. I'm going to take the skilled kineticist just because it lets me have all my stuff go. Let's me have a bunch of things that I yeah, see her stealth goes up. A lot of these things should go up. Eighteen, eighteen, and twelve. She's pretty good there. And then her sister is not quite nearly as good. Uh She's going to get a wild talent. One point. I don't have anything that's really... But her intelligence is what drives her. And her charisma is not nearly as important. Well, charisma helps. Magic device. Be a cheap way to get magic device in there. Right? And I don't have to spend any points down there. Because I only get three points. I want to put it in perception. Um, and her lore. Knowledge of the world. Lore nature. That's it. So I guess that's where we'll go. 123 hit points. I get a wild tap on it. All right, what's this? Cold resistance amount of burn. Uh, I can double the duration of his own fire's fury. Uh, flame shield. Ash. Uh, takes fire damage.
Okay, bonus of the earth. Great fortitude, endurance, or trip. Uh, Got to check her 10, 11, and 12. She can trip people. Nice one, melee attack. Nice bonus streets of fire. Iron will, dazzling display. Weapon focus, okay. That's not going to have too much of this system. Line sight to range of 30 feet. Ooh. That might be... That might be worthwhile. To have blind sight. Of all these sitting here, I think that's the one I like the most. Line sight out to 30 feet. So that's what I actually have. That's familiar. Gave me defenses. You have to skill for medicist. I already took skill. This sounds interesting. The bonus things didn't strike me as interesting. just to yourself. Yeah, this is just to you, so. Well, I could have her skill focus, but I think I like this tremor sense, blind sight. Let's see if that matters. Yeah, we'll try that. She's got 123 hit points. Not bad. Okay, I think that's everybody. Go ahead and do everybody. Yeah, this was a very long, annoying. Yeah, I'm well over an hour, so I'm just going to put a cut in here. All right, just move myself back here. I'll put in a cut. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like see, hit the subscribe button and then the notify bell. Notified when I upload videos and or schedule streams. I am going to go in and change around my spells offline, and then next time we will go try and finish up this Varnhold's lot thing, or Varnhold's uh, vanishing thing, so that we can uh, move on. Um, I am going to do some inventory management as well, because I'm going to take uh, the Tiefling twins, Tristan, of course, my three base, um, Amiri, Lindsay and myself. And I think I'm also going to take, um, I can't make up my mind if I want to take Amiri because of her hit points and the fact that she has all those really nice weapons. Or if I want to take Jathale because it sounds like I'm going to be dealing with undead. I don't know if I should have Jathale with me to deal with that. I don't know if she would be better than Amiri. i just not really sure which one so I'm going to check on hit points and things and make a decision on that, too. And then we'll head out next time. So until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.